And welcome to my playhouse. And today I'm just messing about in the garden. Um, I am planning on improving my uh, awesome um, water heater for the pool. So um, yeah, this is the, how it looks. It's this is the ugly side. The sun was over there, so it was pointing in that direction. So yeah, the pool heater is there, and I have improved on it a little bit. I have been playing around with this. This was supposed to be a 50 watt solar panel. I can assure you, it's not. So I got totally ripped off there. 45 euros for this piece of, I have complained. Um, but uh, I do really enjoy this plunge pool. It's a little bit green at the moment. I have been uh, neglecting it and not putting in the right amount of uh, chlorine to keep it clean. I'm doing that. So every night I put the cover on. This one that we made last year. I am thinking that I want to want to change the cover on it, the plastic. I haven't purchased that yet, but uh, this one keeps getting broken. So I have taped it here and there to kind of it's uh, it's a losing battle. It keeps breaking. So but yeah, where's that? Um, this filter pump over here is being run by the solar panels over here. The solar panels over there is running the pump for the for the water heater up here, which is probably not doing a whole lot right now. But yeah, and, and this is what I want to mess with today because okay, it, yeah, it is actually running. Some water is coming out of it. It's the sun is up there somewhere, so it's not a lot. But the solar powers are making power for it because this tiny little one does well. It does. It kind of does run the pump. If I start the pump up with these and make sure that water has come through everything, this tiny little one is is good enough to make a little. A trickle trickle of water through it so all day this is it's okay but it it's not enough to get the system going which is really annoying never mind today I want to improve on the on the whole heating system here so I'm gonna take it down and then I want to insulate the back so today when it's not that sunny uh, and I'm pumping water through it, well, I'm pretty sure that I'm losing quite a bit of heat just because it's getting air cooled. Right now, the, the air temperature is lower than the water temperature. Uh, yesterday was a really good day, so the water temperature is pretty good. So we can check that. There it is. It's uh, about 24 degrees Celsius, so I could go for a dip. I do like it about 26 and it was there yesterday. Even had 27 the day before that. But yeah, we are I'm going to take this down and I'm going to try and insulate the back of it and I'm actually going to use this stuff that is there. I'm right now I'm using it to give it more of an angle so that it's uh, catching more sun. I should have pointed it that way, but um, yeah, we're going to do that afterwards. Now I'm going to take it down. Okay, so this is the back of the of it and everything is uh, is mounted on this uh, plastic pallet here which uh, is very lightweight and very convenient and black and uh, okay and all of the holes on the back here has the same sizes uh, some of them are, are triangles and some of them are well, squares well four sides at least and my idea is that I can probably make some of this foam fit in all of these thinkies and uh, 
yeah, make sure that the wind is not going to be able to blow through it as much. And therefore, hopefully, as long as it's pointing towards the sun, improve um, the heating of the system. Uh, that's a lot of squares. I don't know if I want to do all of those today. I was going to take... I don't know if I can just make a... Uh, it would be nice if I could just... And then squeeze it down there. I'm going to try that because... That would be easy. So here's the square. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's gonna work very nicely. Uh, doesn't matter if it's squeezed a little bit. That's actually an, a big benefit. But um, this thing kind of have a... It has a rough side and it has a, a smooth side, so I'm going to put it the other way around so that the, the smooth side is towards the pipes. I don't know why, but somehow I think that's best. So, yeah, we're going to do a lot of those. I'm going to have so much fun doing that for the next few hours. Okay, this is positive. Uh, it's going way faster than I was expecting, so... Uh, not always that happens. So this is naturally taking quite a while, <laughs> but it looks pretty good. It looks like it was made like that-ish. Uh, of course, there's room for improvement here and there if you go really close, but yeah, you don't have to do that. Uh, so I am one fourth uh, done. And uh, yeah, I think that took almost an, a half an hour at least. So uh, I'm gonna do at least one more and uh, yeah. Then it, I might be tired. I am also using a lot more of this foam thing than I was expecting. I do luckily have a lot more. Okay, we are now over halfway because I I continued over here. Uh, it is getting tedious, <laughs> but I did this part faster than that part, so um, I'm getting better at it, or at least quicker at it. Um, it looks pretty good, if I have to say it myself, and I probably have. Because you're not sitting there thinking, wow, that looks good. No, I'll have to think that myself. Hmm. Okay, rather proud of myself. Um, insulated. So, uh, what does it look like on the other side? I haven't had to turn around yet, so... Uh, have a um, leftovers. Um, good thing I, uh, I saved a lot of this black closed cell foam thing. It's uh, an elastic thing. I'm sure it's going to be... Uh, be dying in the sun but um, well, then we'll fix it uh, yeah let's turn this over and see what it looks like on the other side okay that looks pretty good if I must say looks very professional actually so, um, yeah, I'll try and get that up there again. That wasn't easy the last time. It's probably not going to be easy this time either. Okay, here goes nothing. Okay. That went well. I actually have no idea if all this insulation is going to do much, but I don't expect that it will do much harm. So, oh, ah, uh, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. So let's connect the pump again. This is a, um, it's a 12 volt, 
and it doesn't say how many amps or wattage or anything which is a bit, bit annoying because I would like to know how much power it actually needs so that I could really complain about this to tell them that I'm very disappointed but I have the outlet from the 100 watt solar panels and that's plenty and you can hear it so uh, does come out of it. Nope. Most of the time. Uh, the sun is really not being a good friend right now. It's, it's nowhere to be seen. So I don't think there's there's enough power to actually get um, water through this. But um, yeah, we'll wait until the sun is better and uh, we'll get some water pumping through oh I do actually hear it up here so maybe it is actually working it is uh, kind of the same thing every time I want to play with solar power <sighs> I haven't had much luck here uh, when I got up this morning I couldn't see a cloud in the sky and now oh I can't see where even the sun is. Well, it's lighter over here. So I think, oh, blue, 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 blue. While I wait for the sun, I could clean up all of this mess because one good wind blow and I will have to find this all over the garden. I thought that I was gonna cut out a template, but uh, oh, that wasn't needed. And it turned out that all of these holes and triangles and squares well they weren't as as equally sized as I thought they were it's a bit later the Sun is uh, almost out there's still big clouds but we're getting some Sun and uh, yeah this is noisy again because now it's it has the good panels on them over there what's supposed to run on this tiny little one I'm gonna try and see if it it will do that I need to order one that is ever so slightly bigger than that. <sighs> yeah, irritating, but true. Back for a second, and I have the tiny little uh, solar panel here. It is actually running the pump. And the sun disappeared enough behind the cloud to now it's not running the pump. So, oh, but the sun came back. Now it's running the pump. Um, this is kind of how I want it. I want it to be running just a little bit like that so that when the sun is out and is heating the water well then there's water flow. The big issue is that this little solar panel is usually not enough to get it going in the morning. Um, it's not really very much hot. It's like maybe one one and a half or two degrees warmer than the water in the pool. But um, yeah, as long as it takes the water, heats it up two degrees and puts it back, it should be heating up the pool. And when the sun is out for longer, it will heat up the pool uh, more than that. I have actually had it like, I've had the pump off for some amount of time and then I turned it on. And then the water coming out of the hose was at a temperature where it was not comfortable anymore, like too warm. <laughs> which was really nice to feel that, that that was a possibility. I am very curious if this insulation stuff that I've been doing, if that does anything good for me. Um, I won't know for a bit, um, but the general idea is more or less that the hoses should not be cooled down as much from the wind. So <laughs> talking about wind, it's absolutely couple of branches over there moving but <laughs> it's there's absolutely no wind so that is awesome uh, but yeah that's tiny improvement next thing I want to try is like make a little, uh, little greenhouse for it like putting some kind of plastic or something on top of it see if that will uh, will help but yeah it's warm to the touch. I um, put a piece of wood up here to give it a more of an angle and I tried also to give an angle to the little solar panel with a piece of foam. 
So, yeah. I can hear how much sun there is. The, there's some thought of a thinky in here and it's struggling. It's actually pretty noisy and irritating, but yeah, I can kind of hear when it's <laughs> when there is not enough sun. It would be nice with some sort of a circuit that will charge a tiny little battery when there's not enough power to do the pump. So I would have to measure this and see how much voltage is coming out of it. And then um, whenever uh, there is enough sun, it would kick in the pump with a boost. That would be a nice little trick. And I, of course it would drain it, but that would be something to consider. And then the sun is so strong that I can't look that way. <laughs> um, just a weird random video of me messing around. Uh, this is very often what I like to do in my free time. Mess around with solar and I just love my little plunge pool. Uh, still battling the green in here. Uh, the pump filter has been on all day, but it settles on the bottom and I just used the, the broom over there to clean the bottom. So everything is stirred up again so yeah it's a battle it's a battle hope you found any part of this interesting and if you have any good suggestions do leave it in the comments below and other than that thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can have do subscribe to my channel so do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye